Good day everyone, our topic for today is all about simple annuity part 3. In the part 1 of the video, I already discussed about simple annuity when the future value is missing and in part 2, simple annuity when the present value is missing. At this part, we will discuss about sim solving simple annuity when the periodic payment is missing given the future value and the present value. So the first part is when periodic payment is missing, given the future value. First, let's identify kung ano ang formula ang gagamitin natin. So the formula that we're gonna use in this portion is R equals F quantity 1 plus J raised to N minus 1 over J raised to negative 1. Later on, I will, I will teach you on how to use this formula. So we need the following requirements. N equals MT where it is the total number of conversion period, J equals I over M, rate per conversion period. You may go back with the, with the part 1 if you want to understand what is N and what is J is all about. Then we need to consider the following given. So we have F as the future value, I is the nominal rate, M is the frequency conversion, and T is time in years. Frequency conversion depends on uh, if it is yearly, semi-annually, uh, if it is monthly or quarterly. Example, Mr. Ribaya would like to save 500000 for his son's college education. How much should he deposit in a savings account every 6 months for 12 years if interest is at 1% compounded semi-annually. So, si Mr. Ibaya daw, gusto niya mag-save ng 500,000 para sa kanyang anak sa college education niya. Magkano daw ngayon ang i-deposit niya sa savings account niya every 6 months sa loob ng 12 years na may interest na 1% compounded semi-annually para makabuo ng 500,000. So first, identify the given. So we have the following. Since ang isisave niya, ang gusto niyang masave, kasi parang iniisip niya is gusto niyang makaipon ng 500,000. So that is futuristic. Okay, so therefore our F is 500,000. Our I is 1% or 0 0.01. Our M is 2. Bakit 2? Because it is compounded semi-annually. And semi-annually meaning to say uh, we have only 2 6 months in 1 year. Okay, kasi ang ibig sabihin ng semi-annually ay 6 months. And then T equals 12 for 12 years. Let's solve for the N. So we have MT as a formula. So 2 times 12 is 24. For the J, we have I over N. I is 0.01 divide 2. I divide, yeah, divide 2. So we have 0.01 divide 2 and the answer is 0 0.005. Alright. Now, uh, let's have the formula. And let's have, let's substitute the given to the formula. Our F I'm sorry, there's something wrong here. I think this is 500,000. Mm. 500,000. Okay. Uh, times quantity 1 plus 0 0.005. Yun ang na natin. Kj raised to 24, which is the value of n, minus 1 over 0 0.005 uh, times uh, raised to negative one. So let's check kung same pa rin ang makukuha natin even though uh, pinalitan natin yung 500,000 into 150,000. So uh, on your calculator, if you are using cell phone, okay lang naman. So please follow me. Just click open parenthesis 1 plus 0 0.005 close parenthesis click raise to 24. Then Div, uh, minus 1. Then divide your answer to 0 0.005. Then click equals. So kapag nakuha mo na yung portion na to, click raise to negative 1. Click raise to negative 1. Okay? Raise to negative 1 and then click equals. Okay? And then multiply your answer to 500,000 pesos. Alright. 
I repeat, first, open parenthesis, 1 plus 0 0.005, close parenthesis, raised to 24. Minus 1, then click equals. Then, after that, divide your answer to 0 0.005, then click equals. After that, raise your answer to negative 1, then click equals. And then, multiply your answer to 500,000 and you will get 19,660.31. Round off your answer to the nearest hundreds. Okay, I got the same answer. So, okay, my answer is correct here. Now, let's have this one. When periodic payment is missing, but the given now is the present value. So, yung number one is future value and given. So, on this portion, we have the present value. So, we will use this formula. R equals P quantity 1 minus quantity 1 plus J raised to negative N over J raised to negative 1. Okay? So, uh, we will just follow the formula as simple as that and just put the given on the formula. Okay, what are the requirements? Again, we are we need n and we need j for this. And the given are the following p for the present value, i for the nominal rate, m equals frequency conversion, and t equals time in years. Let's have an example. Paulo borrowed 100,000. He agrees to pay the principal plus interest by paying an equal amount of money each year for three years. What should he be his annual payment if interest is 8% compounded annually. So, si Paolo daw ay nangutang ng 100,000. Babayaran niya daw ito plus yung interest niya equal amount. With an equal amount every year for 3 years. So, ang kanyang inutang ay may interest na 8% compounded annually. So, magkano ngayon ang kanyang Babayaran every year. So, given P is 100,000, bakit P? Kasi hiniram niya. Yung kanina, iniisip niya pa lang. No? Kasi may plano siya, so futuristic siya. Ito naman, hiniram. So, that is present value. The I is 8%, M is 1, and T is 3. 3 years. Bakit M is 1? Because it is compounded annually. And annually means 1. So, for the N equals MT. So, 1 times 3 is 3. For the J i over m, that is 0 0.08 over 1, and that is 0 0.08, as simple as that. Now, let's have this one. r equals p quantity 1 minus 1 plus j raised to negative 1 over j raised to negative 1. Just substitute the given to the formula. And these are our given a while ago. Okay, on your calculator, please follow me. First, click 1. This, this first, this uh, first um, equation. So, 1 minus, uh, open parenthesis, 1 plus 0 0.08, close parenthesis, then raised to negative 3, right? Okay, then click equals, divide your answer to 0 0.08, then again click equals, then Raised to negative 1. Don't forget that one, okay? It's very important to consider that. Raised to negative 1, and that is 0 0.388 something. And multiply your answer to 100,000 pesos. And therefore, the answer is 38,803.35. Round off your answer to the nearest hundreds. Ibig sabihin, Every year, magbabayad si Paolo ng 38,803.35 dun sa pinagkautangan niya ng 100,000 for 3 years. Doon sa 38,803.35, kasama na ang interest na 8% doon. So, every year siya magbabayad ng ganong classing amount. Okay? So, that's all about the simple annuity part 2 of our I part 3 of our lesson, okay? So, that's the end of the discussion about this topic, simple annuity, when periodic payment is missing, given the future value and also the present value, okay? Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video for more updates. Bye!